Fe3 plus would have to be reduced because that's the rule. One species gets oxidized, the other species gets reduced. Okay, so that is the rule. And for this one, we will have Fe3 plus plus E negative gives Fe2 plus. Now you must be thinking that why have I specifically used Fe3 plus? plus E negative gives Fe2 plus because obviously if iron 3 plus is being reduced it can be reduced to iron as well because yeah so I will give you the re reason uh, in a minute I will give you the reason in a minute but you'll have to let's first do this calculation so the E naught for the Cu2 plus and Cu is plus 0 0.34 and for the Fe3 plus and Fe2 plus it is plus 0 0.77 so obviously the first one we'll have to invert because 0 0.34 is smaller than 0 0.77 so we will have Cu gives Cu2 plus plus 2E negative and now that we've inverted it the value becomes minus 0 0.34 and uh, okay I'm sorry for that my hand just slipped so minus 0 0.34 because we have inverted it and now we will add minus 0 0.34 and 0 0.77 just like we did in the previous example okay so the E naught we'll have to write the positive sign of course but the E naught is equal to 0 0.43 volts now the overall reaction we have to we have to write the equation for the overall reaction so for that we can see that here we have two electrons but here we have only one so let's multiply this equation by 2 then the two electrons and two electrons cancel out so this becomes 2Fe2 plus plus Cu okay I'm sorry sorry it's a, it has to be 2Fe3 plus because on the left we have Fe3 plus so 2Fe3 plus plus Cu gives 2Fe2 plus plus Cu2 plus so you can see the charges are balanced plus 6 on the left side plus 6 on the right side and the atoms are balanced so everything is balanced now let's see why I did not use uh, uh, Fe3 plus changing to F Fe instead of Fe2 plus so let's keep the copper over here but we will remove all of this so now let's just say let's hypothet let's be let's take a hypothetical example that the Fe3 plus instead of changing to Fe2 plus it is changing to Fe. So in that case it becomes Fe3 plus plus E negative gives Fe. So this has an electrode potential if you look at the data booklet this has an electrode potential of minus 0.04. Now if you see minus 0.04 is less than 0.34 so we will have to invert this equation. So when we invert this equation uh, this becomes Fe gives sorry this has to be 3 electrons yeah, Fe gives Fe3 plus plus 3 electrons and therefore we get 0 0.04 plus 0 0.04. Now, now let's forget about E0. Let's not calculate the E0 because we already know how to calculate E0. But let's see what the overall reaction is in this case. So we'll have to multiply this side by 3. So this becomes 3, this becomes 3, and this will become 6. Because we have to make sure that the number of electrons are equal. And we'll have to multiply this equation by 2 again to ensure that the number of electrons are equal so this becomes six electrons now we can cancel these electrons and when we write the overall equation now you'll have to pay a lot of attention now we are writing the overall equation Now, yeah, 
So we've written the overall equation. Now there is a problem in this overall equation. The initial reaction.